Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So guys, as promised, I do have a video on relationship and that one is going to be very, very interesting, I must tell you, because the stories over there, wow. So um, keep your notifications on. But what I was drawn to put in out here today, guys, I was really drawn to doing a mediumship one. How we're gonna be approaching this video, we are gonna be looking more so um, at the messages that this person whom you want to connect with wants to portray um, obviously I don't have any objects here because I want you guys to purely tune in and to connect to the person that is passed on and ask them which pile pile number one two three four or five you need to choose and I'm going to see you in timestamps Hello panel number one, so let's see what is up. What are the message from this person that you are thinking of? Now, it's going to be quite difficult for me to um, be abstract and specific at the same time. So you're gonna find me talking about specific scenarios here and one of them might be yours. So the feeling that I get in panel number one, this is either someone who has passed on um, pretty rel uh, relatively young and when I'm saying young it would be um, up to 50 years old that's how I see young you know 45 50 years old um, then for other people this is going to be someone who, ha who has passed on and uh, not too long ago that is the energy that I'm getting from this pile pile number one this is either someone who has this youthful vibe about them uh, something that has happened not too long ago and what I mean by not too long ago within the past I'd say plus minus three years um, let's see let's get into this I truly truly um, keep very close to the heart the mediumship readings because they're quite powerful and um, let's go I'm gonna be using the angelic deck for you guys pile number one and we're going to see I'm gonna tune in a bit more into this person's energy so you can determine if that is your um, person so please not don't try to push these messages if these are not yours and when we determine the personality or what kind of vibe this person had when they were living that's when we will be moving on to the messages that they might want to tell you I was just told to swap decks so we're gonna do that I'm gonna take the steampunk when it comes to their personality and um, characteristics or whatever it is that we need to know about here about this person that one i just had a sensation in in my back area so this can be connected to this person's maybe um physical um, sensations that they had when they were living and it was more so towards the bottom of my back but obviously it can be any part of the back because how many people watching this right but in general middle of the body regardless of if that's a back if that is the front right somewhere in the middle of the body what I'm sensing here okay okay pile number one tell me about yourself pile number one beautiful okay so um, gonna talk about different scenarios here for some of you you are connecting to a person you were in relationship with a partner of yours for some others of you um, this is someone who uh, was part of a family can be mom dad parent grandma but it does seem like whoever this person is to you um, this is someone who I 
for whom family was really really important because I keep getting you know distracted by two messages here and one of the message is um, I am not alone up there meaning that they are with someone who has passed on before them and uh, they are very close um, they were close in the 3d2 um, now for other people what I'm getting the the sending the the sending um, messages to the parents because family was really important here now this might have been someone who who um, had to take care of their bodies uh, more there is something about there maybe something that they were uh, digesting or something that they were putting in their bodies that um, was quite important for them now this could be someone who um, let me actually ask them for bodily sensations myself and let me see what they give me. Headaches. Um, so headaches, um, when it comes to headaches, it might be that this person maybe before they have uh, passed that they did have um, something in their system. Or when they were living, there was also one situation where maybe they were not choosing the best um, things to put in their body and therefore the body was somehow suffering sometimes. Um, something in, in the system in general, uh, because I'm seeing quite a lot of cups here, which is um, specifically in the five of cups here is the very straightforward story, but I'm not getting it for all of you here. Uh, this is more so something smoke. Um, this might have been a smoker as well. So now you're gonna know which which bits are yours and which not. Please, if um, don't try to put all of these messages in a in a in a bucket and say, hey, mm, I'm not sure about that because I've I've been talking about different people, right? Whoever this is, um, it does seem like this person probably um, liked being on their own or they had to recharge or they liked to soul search. But whatever it is, this person appreciated solitude or time on their own, or there was just a time when they had to be that way, right? What is the message for pile number one from them? People watching, what is the message? Pile number one from them. Let me volume up the music, it helps me channel better. What is the message for pile number one that they have for you? Let me adjust the camera for you a bit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, this is nice. This is nice, we like that a lot here as a message. Read is significant somehow to you or to this person. Now, what I'm seeing here, what they're saying for panel number one, um, you might feel um, that when, whenever this person is around, you might feel like some, someone has touched you. Um, because I keep paying attention to their hand here and actually all of these three cards so here in, in in seven of cups we do have someone being you know kind of like supported when making a decision so if you are, need to make a decision right now this is saying um, I'm gonna be there when you are going to be making this decision or choosing between the options that you do have so you're being supported in options then I was paying attention to this Empress hand over here and uh, also here we go with the magician here this angel looks like the spirit right is holding this person's hand and that hand and helping them out to create something so the message here for me is that whoever this um, spirit is that you're connecting with they're very helpful and they next to you when you need to make up your mind when you need inspiration when you need to actually create or work on something 
they're the most present when it comes to some kind of decisions and work and maybe that is the reflection also a bit like how they used to be themselves maybe they were some kind of you know a person who had um, different talents and they had different abilities something that they would do it would always come out good well or at least they've tried now um, whoever this is this is someone who really really has your back i must say guys with the emperor here the spirit almost like a word <laughs> maybe for some of you this is someone who said that to you before like i would go to war with you and this is a very personal message for someone out there now it does seem like this person is helping you out when it comes to structure um, structure of your life now this is someone who wants you to know that you can achieve a structure in your life and you do have this tough personality and they almost like they're proud of you that you are trying to do things to improve your life you you, you are going you are looking at different options and uh, you're looking at what it is that you can create for yourself for some other people there is a message saying hey toughen up <laughs> but while smiling right it's not like a hey toughen up no like toughen up you know and uh, almost like um Like they want to give you a pat on the back and say, hey, you, you're you good enough in that. I know you're good enough. And right now I felt like someone has touched this part of my body, of my hand. So maybe that is going to be something that you felt. Um, very interesting because actually that is similar to where this angel's hand is touching this person's hand. So I'd say pay attention to sensations when it comes to the spirit um, over here. Uh, this spirit wants you... Um, to work on balance to find balance in your life or if you are doing that already and you're finding ways how to have your energy as balanced as possible or doing something in order for your you know to, to feel better or self-care this is your support this is almost like a pat on the back keep on doing it you're doing great because maybe there was some kind of disappointment in the past and now you're trying to make things work okay so there's gonna be a one more message, but I'm going to make it a bit more personal for you here. I'm going to be uh, pulling one of these cards and I will want you to choose the card that is a message for you. So I'm not going to show them to you guys. Almost like a pile within a pile. So this can get as personal as possible in this case. Right. A message for pile number one for group number one. Group one. For group number two, for group number three, I don't know why, but on four groups, for group number three and group number four. So take a minute meditate and choose one of those four same looking cards again no objects on top ask what it is that you need to hear one two three or four stop the video here if you need a bit more time and we'll be looking at group number one so i'm just gonna read these messages out for you guys and leave it with you so the message we have here from this person it says the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. So this cat has um, almost like freed herself from this cage and she's out in the world saying, hey, adventure, what does the world have to offer? Now, number two. It says a trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. So this is a message from your person, number two. And somehow mountains are significant or to you or to this person that you are asking about. Number three, you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. For group number three, the spirit, whoever they are, they truly care about your well-being and they want you to incorporate having a bit more fun in your routine. 
number four so your spirit says thoroughly think things through before making a decision continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution but meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek and see how this koala is just chilling there in order to contemplate to think things slow to think things through right but not to overanalyze so i truly hope pile number one that this message has found those who needed to hear that and i hope that these you know readings within readings are helpful and obviously i'll be looking at your comments and seeing if that was something that was part of your message thank you tribe for coming back love you as always i'll catch you in the next one hello pal number two so let's see what we have for you now how I want you guys to approach this reading this is very personal i cherish mediumship it's very close to my heart um i'm gonna try and describe how this person that you're asking about feels but obviously there are going to be different personalities coming through because of how many people will be choosing this group so don't you um i don't want you guys to force things i want you guys to recognize that that is something that is familiar to you and this energy feels like the person that you're asking about first off okay so let's see we're gonna be using I think the angel card for out for pile number two. First off, we have the Empress. Tell me something about yourself, pile number two. For some of you now, I'm starting very specifically here. Um, it can be that this person have suffered. By the way, music is louder on purpose because it helps me connect better okay because i get those comments sometimes that oh it's too loud even though you can hear me clearly but um, um this is part of it's like a helper for me now uh whoever this is this person might have had um maybe issues or maybe something along those lines with the or digestive system or stomach itself for some other people um there is something about the legs one leg or both legs okay so that's something that i'm sensing straight away yeah and feet because my my left foot no right foot started hurting a bit there was pressure there so maybe that is connected to accident that may, they may have had now obviously it's going to be different stories but i have to put out what i'm feeling here right tell me a bit yeah and my and my right foot is a bit like give me a moment it's funny we are pulling major arcana straight away we have the empress we have justice here and i'm asking about their personality now i'd say pay attention to sounds because this person might send you messages through music through lyrics um how it would happen you would just have music let's say in the background or in your car when you're driving and suddenly you start paying attention to that specific um uh, part of the song and the lyrics and uh, maybe it's something familiar so those sentences would come out of music now i just had a flash like a, almost like a very bright object flying past uh, in my sight so i'd say pay attention either to sounds or the visions that you are getting but that felt a bit like an orb to me now my heart is a bit heavy so maybe some of these people did have some kind of heart issue or problem here it did feel a little bit like a, a stroke i must say um so maybe uh, some of you are asking about someone who did have a stroke or something with a heart i'm not i'm not a doctor so i'm just trying to okay wings wings um very specific for one of you probably out there if you have looked at the sky and you've noticed a cloud that looked a bit like a wing or feather that was almost like a message for you to look up and see that um this is an, an angelic kind of vibe that i'm getting here however this person uh, was they feel very their energy is very intense so either they were very important in your life you know um, someone who is very present throughout your life someone who's um can be a mother for some of you it can be grandma it doesn't have to be i'm not gonna go into that too much but with the empress that is something that i'm picking up here 
Um, for some others of you, this is someone who might have been into justice, maybe into politics. I don't know why I'm getting that. And here we go. We have this masculine energy coming through with the, with the King of Cups here. Uh, whoever, whoever this person was, um, maybe some of them had throat issues or something along the lines. Um, something about the throat here because I could barely speak um, was difficult for me. Something about the maybe throat, thyroids. Um, this is someone who was uh, really protective over you and still are, I must say. Um, this is someone who... Who has this very caring protective energy about them the empress justice king of cups and seven of wands protection you know this i wouldn't be, be surprised if this was someone's parent or the connection that you did have between you two was um very strong and this person always had your back this person was like i'm gonna have your back forever you know type of thing here okay let's see what is the message that this person wants to portray pile number two pile number two there's something very connected to the sky almost like this person whoever you're asking about they would want you to look don't forget to look up in the sky and something very significant about the clouds so maybe for you or maybe for this person when they were living maybe there is a picture of them where the sky is a bit different in the background something along those lines and they would want you to take the, that picture out Pile number two. What is the message that you are you want to say? What, what is it you want to say? Pile two. That wants to come out. So we'll take that one. Here you go. I feel like that one too. We'll take that one. Number seven might be significant here, as well as number four. Number three for some others. okay right okay wow let me adjust the camera for you here you go now for numbers two what do you want to say you are moving on from some kind of um, or it would be good to move on from some kind of control or feeling repressed or some kind of structure that is not working for you anymore it almost feels like this person is saying you can um, do it on your own um, you can release yourself for some other people this is someone who is advising you to save money or to be uh, patient when it comes to making money but they're referring to some kind of fast moving movement to you in the future and the angels are watching you behind so this is the this person right that's how I'm seeing it because this is the angel deck watching you taking some kind of action in your life and uh, brighter future is ahead of you this person wants to say that hey the fortune will be turning in the future uh, almost like your time will come that's how it sounds to me your time will come pile number two and it feels like someone is getting very emotional in pile number two because of what i just said here so that is if you if it you i can't even speak if it felt very intense this is definitely your message Uh, it does seem like uh, for some for some others of you this person is talking about um, you you are saying bye to the old uh, because you're going towards what it is that is more suitable for you and they keep referring that your your fortune is changing things will turn around there is better days ahead and to embrace that to keep looking forward to take action to release yourself from some kind of control or restriction that you might be in right now and it can be related to a person or it can be related to how you might be feeling in a specific situation now what i'm gonna do i want to i want to do a pile within the pile so it can become as personal reading as possible i want you guys to choose for pile number two actually i want to choose the uh, five cards so i want you guys to choose one message from this person there's going to be a, a card number one two three four and five i'm going to put them in front of you here no ob objects as well i want you to use your intuition ask this person which one you need to pick 
and uh, I think for some of you might be drawn to two cards so you can listen to, to them both I'm not gonna be interpreting them I'll just read it out as a message for you one two Three. Four. Five. Take time to meditate. If you need to stop the video, we're starting with number one. So the message for you guys from this uh, spirit person you are asking about is it says your worries and fears by the way I have to stop here because there is there is a fly here so I'd say pay attention to bugs it says your worries and fears are not real they are fueled by focusing on the negative which gives power to that which you are afraid of stop worrying let go of fear and everything will be okay this is nine of swords in a regular deck Number two, it says a trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. It feels very good, it feels very positive. Um, it's referring to love. Number three, it says at this time it's very important that you communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. Four, it says expect a sudden positive change in your life, something we refer to here with this wheel of fortune. You can now move forward and make great progress. And this tree is very abundant here, so that's the reference to what is waiting for you in the future. Pay attention to butterflies. Number five, it says your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. If you are not in this place any, um, just yet guys, remember this: the deceased um, are very good at predicting the future. So that's something to look forward to, right? It says you may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. So part number two. I hope that this found those who needed to hear that and this was helpful a pile within a pile so that this can be as close to a personal as it can be right in these picker cards and um, I'll be looking at your comments and seeing how that related to what it is that actually maybe happened already for some of you or is about to happen tribe love you as always thank you for coming back and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now Hello pal number three, so music is going to be um, louder than usual on purpose, it helps me connect better. Now how I want you guys to approach this reading, I'm going to try and do this as personal as possible because I'm going to include a pile within a pile in this reading. But uh, remember I'm going to be mentioning probably sensations that I'm getting or maybe some kind of bodily sensations that they're showing me and this might be a mixture of different people because of the amount of people that are watching this. So you might recognize the spirit that you're asking about, the person that you're asking about come through in one of those messages. If that is not your pilot, doesn't feel familiar, it feels maybe a little bit foreign to you, uh, that might not be a pile for you right because i cherish mediumship it's very dear to my heart so i want these guys to be as personal as possible but i know it's still general so i have to tell you now what we're going to be doing we're going to be asking first off this person what do you want to show me when it comes to bodily sensations um and also what kind of personality or what kind of event they might be talking about uh, when they were living so you can determine if that is something that is familiar to you about this person this person is referring to 
um, financial struggles in their life. Uh, when they were still living so there might have been a period of time that it felt like they didn't have enough or some kind of abandonment issue they uh, might have been um, left by an important person in their life or someone just had to go personality please my throat chakra is very tense so I'd say maybe someone who struggled maybe to express themselves or somewhere along the throat area there might have been an, an actual physical issue or maybe something was put in their mouth um, uh, trying maybe to improve their health you know that's how you need to approach this because imagine how many people are watching it so when I'm saying throat or heart um, refer to what might have been you know happening with it um, they're talking about nostalgia it does seem like whoever this person is they truly cherish the old good days and um, if not that this these are the places that they love going to so whoever this person is if you wanted to remember them or remember them or connect to them better um, the way to do so would be uh, going to a place or visiting a place that was very cherished by them or where you two would spend time together and it doesn't have to be far away, you know, it can be just something uh, maybe around where you're at now or maybe you want to somehow recreate some kind of activity in the place where you're at now if you cannot go there. Make sense? Because you're talking about the activity that you both used to do or they loved um, or the place that was there to their heart. And that is something that they keep reminiscing on, you know, those good old times. But in a, in a nice way, this is not like they're like, oh, you know, I used to have such a good life. Um, it's, it's more so like they smiling when they're saying that, right? That's how it feels like to me. Um, whoever this person is, they were, they're acknowledging um, either maybe someone, when they passed away, someone gave birth to a child and they, they want to say, I, I, I saw that. I saw that happening or someone give birth to a project of some sorts right some kind of accomplishment doesn't even have to be a project something that was very precious and they almost like want, want to say that I acknowledge that I've seen it you know it's something that um, has happened and I was part of it this is quite a beautiful energy part three I like it okay let's see what is it that this person wants to say um, interestingly, for pile number three, they didn't show me any bodily sensations too much. Um, that's not something that they want to talk about. So when that happens in mediumship, I know that um, the person, you know, the, the deceased person doesn't want to talk about or um, it wasn't something that they were overly focused on themselves, you know, in life. Like they didn't acknowledge that. Um, they didn't want that to be a big deal for some other people. Um, or they just didn't want the um, the pressure to be on or you know kind of want want to talk about other things than just that I hope it's making sense for you guys okay pile three pile three yeah they're talking this this pile three they're talking about some kind of a, a I'm, I'm hearing a youngster so they're acknowledging a youngster maybe um, um someone that they miss i'm hearing give a kiss to the younger one right i'm acknowledging the younger one um almost like um, give them a, give them something nice from me you know would it be a hug a kiss and um, something that is there to them or what they like almost like a gift you know um something physical that they cannot give but it doesn't mean that be very protective too um, doesn't mean that you know don't take it the way that they they are sad that they can't give it the see the spirit is always there it's up to you to connect to it right because we cannot notice it sometimes because how busy we are sometimes or how we brush it off as just something that oh maybe that was just a, um, 
air passing by you know maybe there is a window open and and, and that air is from the window right and um, that's how subtly uh, the sensations are so there is something about wind in general for pile number three so I'd say if you feel like maybe wind in your hair when you indoors I'd say this is most likely that this is the person showing their presence to you because in the hermit here uh, we do have that hair blowing in the wind I'd say hair is a big deal here overall so maybe somehow the hair was important to this person when they were living um, maybe um, you do have sensation in your hair as if someone touches your hair right uh, something along those lines here but and I'm having shivers going down my legs now so air for sure and then look at these right it's all about wind all about air um, okay let's see what do you want to say pile number three They're watching you growing your fruit of labor. And they're talking about a city that reminds me of almost like a medieval city. So this is very personal to someone out there. Maybe you visited that city. Maybe they visited that city. There's something about, you know what it reminds me of? England, Ireland, um, maybe uh, some place in Europe uh, somewhere where they have those red rooftops. Yeah, very important place. Um, this this pile is about places somehow, you know, visiting places. Maybe this person loved visiting places or exploring something along those lines. See, and the hug is coming through here. And these two look like young kids. There is something about the little one here. And I'm pulling cards as I'm speaking, right? There's a little one in the middle. Um, they're either referring to a child here that they love um, and you and they literally want you to hug them for them or um, they're referring to a new birth and that new birth doesn't have to be only a child um, it's almost like a birth of something um, the, this person is also referring to your growth this person is referring to um, the growth that is still yet to come and this is going to be spiritual growth um pay attention to the did i say the music pile three because when i channel it goes out of my head i don't remember it it happens the same with readings i leave it with people and they think that i know their whole life if they if they were regulars um and i don't remember because i leave the information with them and that's what happens very strange sensation when it comes to readings regardless I don't know if I talked about music here but truly pay attention to the sounds pile number three because um, but it's more so regarding the future um, you might notice that more so in the future they are saying there might be a music um, or a song playing or you might be drawn to listening to a specific song in which there is a message in lyrics or the whole vibe of a song reminds you of this person. But they, this person is referring to your spiritual growth, almost like saying be prepared is going to be, <laughs> the jokester is a bit for some of you, it's going to be a good time, but at the same time it's going to be uncomfortable because of, of spiritual growth, right? I think for some of you, whoever this is, regardless of what kind of situation they were in, they would still be able to find optimism or a sense of humor would come out. Um, for some of you, this is someone who liked their own space um, or maybe they had to be alone for some time. There's one more card that I want to pull as a message for you. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. A lot of hugs, you know, like in physical sensations. Mm. Showing and expressing love. And that's something that this person wants you to do in your life too. Express your emotions, uh, they are saying. Express your emotions to the ones that you care about. Um, and um, do not block the emotions off. You know, be expressive uh, when it comes to your emotions. That is something that they are referring to here. So now, 
I'm gonna do a pile within a pile. I want you guys to choose from four options. Number one, two, three, or four. So again, there is gonna be no object on top. Ask the spirit that you're asking about which pile do you need to choose? Not pile, but these are gonna be single cards. Is there a message for you um, in number one, number two, number three, or number four? And I'm not gonna be interpreting these cards. I'll leave it as messages for you. That is number one. That is number two. That is number three. And somewhere in the middle is number four. So take a moment to breathe in, breathe out, do your thing. Stop the video here if you need some more time. We're starting with number one. By the way, I don't know if I said it, the music is intentionally louder because it helps me connect. So we'll wait for it to calm down a bit. So the message for number one is, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have se several priorities varying for your attention at once, but you can do it. And these are two little babies here. You can do it. This is saying keep your crown on, right? Pile number two, a message from their person. So obviously pay attention to bees, right? It says you have been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. Number three. It says, and again, two kids. We have kids all over the place here. We have two cats, two baby uh, babies here. We have two babies over here. Uh, I mean, it's very interesting. It says, embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Pay attention to butterflies, pal three. Number four. The magician it says there is magic in the air you can manifest everything you need to be successful a big pat on the back for, for numbers four right believe in magic regardless of what has happened so far um, believe in magic and again there is wind in this horse's hair there is something about this you know wind and the air um, in pile number three that I'm sensing so I hope that this was helpful pile four four group four and overall uh, group number three as a whole and let me know down below i'm always um, looking forward to your comments tribe thank you very much for coming back and i hope that this reading found those who needed this specific message bye for now hello pal number four so let's see what we have for you so um what I want to say first of all, music is going to be louder in this video and that's on purpose, it helps me connect better. Now I'm going to be tuning into this person's energy first so you can recognize that that is something that you um, are familiar with, it has to feel familiar to you. Uh, sometimes they're going to give me bodily sensations and obviously because I'm waiting for the collective these might be different bodily sensations for different groups of people that this person, the spirit is referring to. And now what I'm talking, I'm getting um, a little bit of, um, of a pressure. There is a bit of pressure in my, almost like a uterus area. Um, and um, my back. So this can be already referring to some of you that this is your pile maybe that's something that this this person dealt with um when they were still living but there's gonna be more that will be coming through so bear with me because this came through quite fast in the intro so let's tune into this person i kind of want to use steampunk for their personality so let's go what is it that this person wants um to say about their personality If someone's eye was itching in pile number four, um, this is definitely your pile. 
Now, if um, someone has maybe um, an issue with one of their arms, hands, wrist, um, this is your pile, or this can be this person that they are referring to. What it is that they might have had a difficulty with, you know? One of the hands, wrists. Okay, personality. Nope, they told me to keep on shuffling. Okay. There's something in general about one eye of mine in this reading. I don't know what it means. It can be many things for you guys. This person is referring to them needing to use their hands in their life. Uh, um, and their hands, for some of them, had to be steady. Or it had to be, I don't know why I'm hearing, tidy hands. Um, in general, there is that reference to them using their hands in order to achieve something. And, you know, in most of the careers, we do use our hands. But somehow, um, hands for them in their life was more important maybe than for, for other people. I hope this is making sense here. Uh, for some others, okay, and I just got, I had a sensation in my heart. But this was different from one of the other piles. This felt almost like a little tingle rather than the heaviness or anything like it. So maybe they did have... I'm hearing that this is related to some kind of shock or some kind of maybe... You know when you're scared and you just have that sensation in your heart? So that's something maybe that they have went through or there is a significant maybe scenario or something you both went through together and you some of you this is a funny story actually that you both remember being scared you know and you would laugh about it after some time now uh, this person for some of you is referring to towers two towers um, that are standing out on um, from all the other buildings in that place so that might be something significant um, where maybe they lived or where you're at now um, different stories for everyone obviously but those towers are somehow important or uh, two very tall buildings right because i keep looking at two of pentacles sorry two of uh, wands here um as well as what i see here in the high priestess these two columns you know pillars and then we have two towers here in the background What would they want to talk about? I want to continue with steampunk for pile number four. What? What is the message for you? Whoever this was, this is um, I, this was either someone who, and I'm sorry, I have to keep interrupting because I'm getting sensations as I'm speaking. Um, I did have a bit of a headache, so it might be something related to them. Um, for some of you, this was either someone who was or spiritual or religious or they're acknowledging the spirituality in you now please choose what it is that is yours but that spirituality you know we all spiritual watching probably these videos this would be more so you know a spirit recognizing your spirituality you're probably gonna gonna be doing or you're already doing something professionally with that right um Pay attention to coins. This person might be leaving coins as signs in, in, in random areas or there is a coin that is important for them. And maybe it was given to you in some cases. Or something that is shiny, so it might be a piece of jewelry, right? Okay, a message, pile number four. Appreciating precious things, wow. And when I said precious things, bang, half of it that came out. Precious things. All right, yeah, and we have Ten of Pentacles, makes sense. Um, whoever this is that you're asking about, um, they, they are referring to... A need to connect to family 
um, for some of you there is going to be some kind of celebration with the family and it, almost like it's in plans now for some of you this person wants to say that uh, they saw a new addition to the family so it can be a dog or it can be a a um, a child I wouldn't surprise I wouldn't be surprised if, if those were both now what are they saying pile number four very specific I'll just roll with it um, it almost feels to me like I'm hearing a sentence saying I saw you going I saw you going on your own so maybe there was a phase in your life where you had to go through something alone without someone right and it might have been a bit of a difficult phase but it's almost like they are proud of you how far you've come now because we have nine of cups and the king of pentacles mm, whoever this is they are referring to uh, your home environment and um, either in need to improve it or this is going to be improved in the future um, it almost feels like this uh, pile number four needs to go and celebrate something but truly celebrate it from your heart that is what you're being told um, don't stay for too long in solitude pile number four I don't know why this is coming for maybe some of you have been you know um, indoors for too long and it almost feels like the spirit wants you to come out and enjoy the life that you have enjoy the 3d things right um, or this can be just a celebration that you're already aware of that this person is referring to and I wouldn't be surprised if something weird would happen um, during oh you can't see anything sorry guys I kept on talking um, if there was something weird with, uh, in that celebration if there is something weird happening uh, it's most likely uh, them showing themselves to you that they are part of that celebration because I keep referring to celebration here big time so something is coming up and there's going to be a lot of fun but more so they want you to enjoy life enjoy the present moment um, almost like create the happiness for yourself you know and um, reconnect with family members and improve your home environment what is it about home, home space for some of you, you might smell uh, smoke when this person is around for some others this is you know this is in between because when I looked at the high priestess it may, gave me this sense of perfume or or incense you know and um, something about incense or perfume here so that's how this person might come through now for third group there are coins or jewelry that is quite important so now because this is quite uh, personal what I decided to do today is to uh, make a reading within a reading pile within a pile um, so I'd want you guys to think of a person that you want to connect with almost like asking which message do I need to hear from you and interestingly for pile number four I want you to choose from number one two three four five or six I'm gonna put those messages those cards in front of you um, there are gonna be no objects so take time to contemplate And I'll just read it out for you as messages from the person that you're asking. That is number one. That is number two. That is number three. That is number four. That is number five. And that is number... Nope, not that one. They kept stopping me. Number six. Okay, take a moment, choose which one it is that you feel you're being drawn to. Stop the video here if you need some more time. We are starting with number one. So message from this person for pile number one. It says, a trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. Number two. 
a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education such as promotion or scholarship is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. Quite important message, hey? Number three, it says embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Number four, your worries and fears are not real. They are fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you are afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. Number five, you have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as engagement, what did I say, right? Such as engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. I think for some of you that hummingbird means something very specific. Number six, it says, your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. So this is referring to entrepreneurial spirit of yours or something that you might come up with in the future or this is your pat on the back, how much you've done already. So I truly hope that this made sense, pile number four, and this was helpful. Um, I tried to make this reading as personal as I could and um, try to thank you for coming back. Love you as always. Bye for now. Hello, pile number four. So... A bit of an intro. Um, the music in this reading will be uh, louder than usual and it's for a reason. It helps me connect better. Now, um, what might come through? I might get bodily sensations that I'll be talking about, so something physical. Um, because we're waiting for collective, um, there might be different things that I might be talking about that not everything might be relating to your person. But I hope that you'll be able to recognize because we're going to be doing a bit of a description of this, of this person uh, energy-wise, whatever they are going to decide to show me here, okay? So let's see. Pile very innocent vibe I'm getting about this person whoever you're asking about there is that purity to them what I'm seeing here this purity um, uh, this um, freedom somehow freedom maybe was very important to them this is someone um, who's giving me a vibe of this you know um, of someone who hasn't been touched by this is very specific for one of you or two of you out there. This would be a younger person because they're showing me uh, themselves as being pure. Um, and maybe this is someone who have passed uh, way before the age, right? Now, it's not going to be for all of you. This is for a couple. So let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Um, what this <laughs> wow what this person is saying this person might have been a bit clumsy there's something about clumsiness or an event or scenario of some sorts something might have happened where there were a lot of laughs about someone's clumsiness in general okay so there is that personal um, situation that might be connected to you and them um, or to this person in particular now yeah you see um, Keep paying attention to this purity here because look, we have the Ace of Cups here as well as the world, which in this deck um, is someone who's holding a baby here. Now I'm not gonna further on interpret that. If you if this is your message, you already know what it means. Um, this person is someone who is quite patient or they have had to learn how to be patient in life 
Uh, they might have had some kind of difficulties with their mental space, I'm hearing, for some others of you here. Uh, maybe they held on to something for too long or they didn't want to let go um, or they were just struggling with something that is of mental, you know, um, thoughts. I'm hearing thoughts, a lot of thoughts. So that is what they are giving me in order for you to see if that's your vibe, your person or not. Now, let me get into bodily sensations. I'll just sit here a bit, become a blank canvas. Um, they're referring to sleep a lot in pile number five so either you can get to sleep and they want you to sleep more or they did have maybe insomnia or something that they couldn't get to sleep very much uh, for one of you probably out there um, they're referring to a jewel so maybe something that they had to um, they had they had to be done about the jaw um, itself I'm hearing reconstruction or something along those lines but overall they're not giving me overly you know any like heavy bodily sensations here they're not referring to that that much um, there's a bit of sensation I'm feeling in my belly um, almost like you know But it's not too heavy it's just something that might be related to digestive system or you know you know how it feels like i'm gonna try to explain it to you you know when you um <laughs> when you go on maybe roller coaster has a very big significant significance here you know when you you go up with a roller coaster and it's about time to go down and you get you know that that's you go you get scared and you have this feeling in your belly right so that's how it feels like for me here in general something about the middle part of a body that they are referring to they might have had maybe issues with um, or for one or two of you my left side of a head is a bit heavier more so towards the front okay so what is it, pile number five, that you'd like to say to people watching? I'm going to make this reading um, a bit more personal. I'm going to do a pile within a pile so that you can choose um, a message from this person. Okay? Because I want these mediumship ones to be as personal as I can make them to be. Right, what is an overall message for pile number Five that this person wants to talk about the acknowledging some kind of travel plans of yours I don't know if you plan something or there is a very big significance to planes yeah look three of wands page of cups here specifically in this deck um, there is someone standing by the ocean and there is the big plane um, behind them and the three of wands is someone looking at a different horizon here so they might be referring to a, a situation where either they saw you taking a trip or they see you planning a trip of some sort or even relocation for some of you yeah because big decisions have to be made here um, for some of you out there, this person wants you to take care of formalities and documents and anything that has to be signed. We have a tower, yeah. They're saying you're going through massive changes here in your life. So um, for some of you, maybe that's referring to divorce or maybe separation that you are deciding to go through. Now, obviously, it's not for everyone, but there is some kind of maybe court dealing or something that they are saying, hey, I see that, you know, I see you going for a big change. And it almost feels to me that um, you are almost transforming your life or it's about to transform. But this is something that you're doing consciously. This is your decision. I'm not feeling that this tower is struck out of nowhere because justice is next to it. Um, it almost feels to me that you are the one who is in control to make decisions here, right? Mo for most of you, for most of you. What is this person saying? Yeah, and whatever this change has, um, whatever the meaning 
this change has to you or what you're planning is going afterwards after everything quiet quiets down it's going to lead you to balance balance in your finances maybe balance there are a lot of scales here maybe scales mean something significant to you or this person but balance is being sought for for pile number five you're going towards balance that's what they want to say yeah and then queen of wands is here somehow they're referring to you um being very almost like bringing the old uh, version of yourself back that authenticity and um, they're referring to also your uh, finances improving or you becoming much more professional than you were before maybe you are doing some kind of improvements in your business in your workspace whatever that would be this queen of wands is very very professional the most professional queen i do have in this deck right she's very sharp so now what I want to do I want you guys to choose from number one two three or four okay think of this person and choose your message I'm not gonna be interpreting these I'm going to be laying these cards out. Meditate if you need to. One, two, three, and four. They just told me to add five. So unexpected changes. And five. Stop the video here. Tune in. See which one's drawing your attention the most. Or close your eyes. See which number you are being asked to look at. So we're starting with numbers one the message for you is expect a sudden positive change in your life you can now move forward and make great progress and this tree is very abundant so the fortune is going to be on your side there's also something about deers here is something about that but it's very personal i think to you or this person numbers two it says it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor once you have that plan in place then you can take immediate action and get as much sorry and get as much accomplished as possible uh, planning stage right three it says congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do this is your big pat on the back it says you have made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage number four a trustworthy persons or relationship enters your life you may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart something may be connected to mountains for some of you number five it says it's time to express your love and appreciation for family be it relatives or a chosen family of close friends congratulations there is a mistake it says congratulations maybe in order on a happy fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy balanced children so that is what i have for you today guys i truly hope that this made sense and uh i tried to make it as personal as i can in this general reading i'm gonna be looking forward to your comments down below tribe thank you for coming back love you as always i'll catch you in the next one